Hello, my name is Jason Mercer, the Toronto Real Estate Board's Director of Market Analysis. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to go through the latest statistics for residential transactions reported through TREB's MLS system. Greater Toronto Area Realtors reported 7,792 sales in April 2018. The average selling price was $804,584. If we consider these charts, we see that on a year-over-year -year basis, sales were down by 32.1% and the average selling price was down by 12.4%. The year-over-year -year change in the overall average selling price has been impacted by both changes in market conditions as well as changes in the type and price point of homes being purchased. This is especially clear at the higher end of the market. Detached home sales for $2 million or more accounted for 5.5% of total detached sales in April 2018 versus 10% in April 2017. The MLS Home Price Index strips out the impact of changes in the mix of home sales from one year to the next. This is why the MLS Home Price Index Composite Benchmark was down by only 5.2% year-over-year versus 12.4% for the average price. So while average selling prices have not climbed back to last year's record peak, we can see from this chart that April's price level represents a substantial gain over the past decade. Recent polling conducted for TREB by Ipsos tells us that the great majority of buyers are purchasing a home within which to live. This means that these buyers are treating home ownership as a long-term investment. A strong and diverse labour market and continued population growth based on immigration should continue to underpin long-term home price appreciation. We can also look at prices and sales another way. After preliminary seasonal adjustment, the month-over-month -month change between March and April 2018 was minimal, with sales decreasing by 1.6% and the average selling price decreasing by 0.2%. The month-over-month -month sales trend has flattened out over the past two months, following a steeper drop-off in January and February of this year. The comparison of this year's sales and price figures to last year's record peak masks the fact the market conditions should support moderate increases in home prices as we move through the second half of this year, particularly for condominium apartments and higher density low-rise home types. Once you are past the current policy-based volatility, homeowners should expect to see the resumption of a moderate and sustained pace of price growth in line with a strong local economy and steady population growth. A final note I'd like to make deals with the upcoming provincial election. With the campaign about to begin, GTA Realtors hope that all of the provincial parties will make housing issues a priority. While home ownership has been a worthwhile investment and has benefited our economy, individual finances and quality of life. In recent months and years, there has been significant intervention in housing markets by all levels of government through regulatory changes and taxation. GTA Realtors believe the next step should be tax relief especially from land transfer taxes, both from provincial and the Toronto land transfer tax, and efforts to facilitate increase in the supply of missing middle housing that fills the gap between single-family homes and high-rises. Furthermore, we believe that any attempt to increase the Toronto land transfer tax should require approval from the provincial government, given the significance of Toronto's economy to the province and the connections between the Toronto real estate market and that of the broader Greater Toronto Area. Thank you very much for your time and I look forward to speaking with you again in a month's time. Brought to you by GTA Realtors.